Hi, I'm Mark Michelson. Welcome to this edition of Impressions Exchange. And with me today, John Scott Thorburn, who's a senior color analyst and advisor with Canon USA. Welcome, John. Hey, Mark. So, you know, it's really an exciting time in our industry. It's a Drupa year. It's been eight years since the last Drupa. Uh, what will folks be able to see uh, at the Canon booth? They'll see lots of new technologies, Mark. Exciting things about uh, inkjet printing and packaging applications and label printing. But we'll also take a few minutes to look back over our accomplishments over the last few years. And certainly we'll have time to talk about our innovations in color automation. So uh, what automation gems can you share with us? It really comes down to really good sensors. If you can't measure it, you can't manage it. And to do professional level automated color management, you really need good sensors. And in our ImagePress V-Series product line, we took the radical step of putting uh, in each model as a basic functionality, what we call the ImagePress ILS, which stands for inline spectrophotometer. But you know, what are ILS measurements? How do they get used? The first hidden gem in color automation is you print on many different substrates and they all have different surface challenges. So getting the proper amount of colorant to transfer onto the surface that you're printing on is item number one, and it takes benefit from high quality color measurements. Now, the next thing is the D-Max itself. D-Max control, not having too much, not having too little, is very important for doing device characterizations. In other words, for making accurate output profiles. Now, number three, is that your press has to be linear. And if you keep in mind that this sort of printing is an offset method of printing. So making sure that an efficient and exact amount of colorant transfers through the press, that is the function functionality of linearizing a press. And our image press ILS measurements are used to linearize the press. Then you have the quality of all of these different substrates that you print on. So all of these different substrates have different characteristics in terms of tone reproduction. You group them into uh, similar sorts of substrates into families, and then you perform a calibration on them to ensure that the tone reproduction is optimized for the substrate. Now in our product line, we took the bold step many years ago of bringing in the G7 calibration method into the image press printing systems. And it's performed really well for us. It's proven itself to be a very effective, fast production, quick check to make sure that your color is where it should be and it stays where it should be. So now you're at the point where your densities are correct. Your tone values are optimized. And now you can go for the gold and that's called device characterization. Imagine that all those tone values are very well behaved. Now they can combine in thousands of different mixtures. They can become duotones, tritones, quad tones. So what surprises can happen when all of those well-behaved tone values start to interact in you know, thousands of ways? Well, you find out by doing a device characterization. Some of our customers call that custom output profiling. And all those tools are built into our system. So now you have an accurate gamut map and you care about that because that means that your spot color simulations are as accurate as they can be and your reference print condition simulations are as accurate as they can be. So for example, if in the States you're interested in printing to the Grackle 2013 print condition, or if Europe, you're interested in printing to FOGRA 51, you now have all of the tools to get yourself there in the image press system. And that's every model, 700, 900, 1000, 1350. That was our, our big strategy, is to put color automation into all of the image press that we're selling. But John, you know what you're talking about, it, it's frankly, it kind of sounds complicated and time consuming. Does that require like, like highly skilled technicians? That's the point, Mark. As a result of color automation, it's not complicated and anybody can do it. And it's very, very fast. It's push button simple. The operator comes in, loads their papers, as many different substrates in the trays as they like. They push a button and they walk away. 
and it just keeps on going until it's all done. And at the end, the system will write you a G7 verification report. So you have a data trail that everything turned out as it should. And the results of all those measurements can automatically go up into our Prisma Home Cloud into the tool called Prisma Color Manager. So you can do your tracking and trending of your fleet devices over time. It's really a great automated system. And I'd like to celebrate it wearing my Canon hat today. All right, John. Well, you know, automation is certainly the future of our industry. Thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, Mark. It's great to be with you. Same here. To all our viewers, thank you so much for watching Impressions Exchange. We'll see you next time.